Krishna, Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Rama Hare Rama Maharaj I think uh, you are on mute Maharaj Yes oh I'm un unmuted now No Okay now I'm unmuted Okay. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for being with us this morning for the Chennai Yatra. We are extremely grateful to you. It's almost four or five months since we have had your association. We welcome uh, His Holiness Bhakti Vigna Vinasha Narsingha Maharaj, who is a disciple of Srila Prabhupada's and got initiated in the year 1971. Subsequently got initiation from His Holiness Tamal Krishna Gosai Maharaj in the year 1994. Has been preaching all over the world. India, Philippines, China, Taiwan, Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, and Thailand. And then uh, Maharaj truly walks his talk. Maharaj has been kind enough to visit Chennai several times in the past, but uh, during COVID now, we are getting the second association from Mar Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. And uh, with your permission, we will also have Tamil translation, Maharaj. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. So we can begin. Oh. Yes, Maharaj. Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chatsuran Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupakadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Bandiham Shri Guru Shri Yadapadakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Raganatan Vitam Tam Sajevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanitamscha He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dhinabandhu Jagadpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchakalpata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Baye Vacha Patita Nam Pavane Bio Vaishnavi Bio Namo Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Precharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So I've been asked to speak something about Lord Chaitanya and his associates so, I thought it would be interesting to speak about Murari Gupta today. So, Murari Gupta is one of the very intimate associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He actually comes from the parental 
ancestral home of Lord Chaitanya Sri Hatta. And Murari Gupta had the good fortune to be able to witness all of the childhood pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Those of you who come on to Mayapur and come on Parikrama, you'll know how we visit the home of or the, the, the site anywhere where Marari Gupta's residence used to be. There's a, a Rama temple there today. And his home is not very far away, only like 10, 5, 10 minutes walk from the Yoga Peeth. So, as I said, Marari Gupta witnessed all of the childhood pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he had the foresight, he had the great intelligence to record all of the different pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So these uh, these uh, records were in the form of diaries which Morari Gupta kept, and later on these diaries were very valuable for people like Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami when he came to compile the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Indeed, it was based on the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it was based on these diaries that the Adi Leela was compiled. The Adi Leela was compiled based on the diaries of Marari Gupta and Madhya and Antya Leela were based on the diaries of Swarup Damodar Goswami. We see in the modern times how uh, devotees like Tamal Krishna Goswami kept a diary and he describes also Srila Prabhupada's final days in the world. And so Sasvarupa Maharaj also. Hari Sori Prabhu also has recorded and published his diaries. So it's with the help of these diaries that we are able to know so much more about the pastimes of these great devotees. So, Murari Gupta was able to have a wonderful association with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would come to his home sometimes and sometimes Murari Gupta would also go to Lord Chaitanya's home or sometimes they would meet at the home of Srivas Pandit. Murari 
one of the pastimes which took place in the home of Srivas Pandit was where Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sat on the throne of Vishnu and revealed himself as the Lord for something like 21 hours. And at, at that time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu revealed different th facts to devotees which they were not knowing and which they thought were were unknown to anybody else. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu showed his omniscience that he knew everything about things. So, when it came to Marari Gupta's turn, at that time Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu manifested himself in the form of Lord Ramachandra, knowing that Marari Gupta is fully devoted to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Murari Gupta, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and Patapode, Murari Gupta, Redam, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rama, Rubatai, and the Veli Patagra, Parana, Murari Gupta, Rama, Vida, Vidinda, Pati, Kotarata. At one point, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was uh, in spoke to Murari Gupta and he told him that Murari, you know that Krishna is the supreme form of Godhead. And Lord Ramachandra, this is this is a subordinate form. This is not the highest feature of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That you should worship the Lord as Krishna. And you don't need to worship Sita Ram. You should worship Radha and Krishna, they are the supreme form. So, Marari Gupta then returned home and then the next morning he came to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and after offering his obeisances to Lord Chaitanya, he told Lord Chaitanya that, he said, you know, you have asked me to give up my worship of Lord Rama and I'm not able to do it. I'm not able to follow your order, so I should give up my life. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was deeply affected by the sincere words of Marari Gupta that he, he sincerely desired to follow the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu but he was just not able to do it. It's, Murari Gupta said, I have sold my soul to the feet of Lord Raghunath, and I cannot follow, I, sh I should follow your order, but I'm not able to do it. <laughs> So hearing this sincere confession from the mouth of Marari Gupta, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied telling Murari Gupta that said, no, no, it, then it's all right. You can continue to worship Lord Ram because you are Hanuman. And Hanuman can never give up the worship of Lord Rama. 
he, there is no way he can ever give up. So, and Lord Chaitanya then went on to glorify that one who is so chaste to his master, to his worshipful Lord, who will never give up the worship of his Lord, then that, that faithfulness, that is very wonderful quality. That is um, that b to be so chaste that is greatly appreciated by the Lord. Some people worship the Lord in one form for one one point and then they'll change and worship another form of the Lord. They're very flexible. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appreciated Murari's chastity and his, his fixedness. That he was so fixed that he just wanted to worship Lord Rama. <laughs> So while Marari Gupta was a great devotee of Lord Ramachandra, he was also very much devoted to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Marari Gupta, Ramari Tivira Bhakta, Anna Adesamyata Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Vidu, Vidanda Nabike Kondarita. He understood the identity of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He understood this this Nimai Pandit is no ordinary person, that he must be the Lord himself. So Lord Chaitanya had so much love for Murari Gupta. On one occasion, when Murari Gupta was speaking the glories of Lord Ramachandra, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so impressed, he liked it so much that he wrote on the forehead of Murari Gupta, he wrote the word Ramdas. So one of the important pastimes which took place between Murari Gupta and Lord Chaitanya was when the Lord assumed the form of Lord Varaha. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not different from Lord Krishna and Lord Krishna and therefore Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are Swayam Bhagavan and all the Lord's different incarnations, they're all there within the original form. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sakshat Krishna Re, Nara Krishna Re Dathala Anaitha Avadharangalam Kudi Kondi Rikandana. So it is described on one occasion, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was chanting, he called out the name Sukara, Sukara. Sukara meaning boar, you know, the form of Lord Varaha. And when Marari Gupta heard this, then he understood the mood of the Lord. At that time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had picked up a, a, a water pot with a, which had a, like a faucet and, and so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would, was uh, showing the pastime of Lord Varaha, picking up the water pot was like picking up the earth planet from the bottom of the universe and he was holding it in his mouth and, and this way he was showing himself as Lord Varaha. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Murari Gupta in Puja Rail in the 
அந்த மண் பானையை வந்து எடுத்து சுமந்து கொள்கிறார் சோ வராக ரூபத்தில் எவ்வாறு இந்த பூமி வந்து இந்த பிரபஞ்சத்தின் கீழே கர்போடாக்கா கடல்ல இருந்து எடுத்தாரோ அந்த விஷயத்தை அவர் வெளிப்பட்டு கொண்டிருப்பதை முராரி குப்தர் கண்கூடாக another past time which took place was when the lord assumed his forearm form in front of marari gupta and at that at that time the lord was calling out for garuda innoru samayam chaitanya mahaprabhu murari gupta rukku mun naangu karangalai vandu eduthu kondirukkar andha naangu karathai eduthu garuda garuda nu alaikkara So Marari Gupta came forward as Garuda and said get on my back. Kudanadiyaga Marari Gupta Chaitanya Mahaprabhu varikku mun vandu enadu pinnal uttarndu kollungal ena koorigira. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu questioned that you are Garuda you know how to you can take me Marari Gupta said yes I'm also I can I can be Garuda I will carry you. Parangal Chaitanya Mahaprabhu nee Garuda na என்னால வந்து உன்னால சுமந்து செல்ல முடியுமான்னு கேட்ட போது ஆமா என்னால சுமந்து செல்ல முடியும் நீங்க என் பின் அமர்ந்து கொள்ளுங்கள் என கூறுகிறார் and murari gupta said don't you remember when i carried you as when i carried you to the heavenly planets along with such a bama we went there to indra and we, you brought the earrings of mother aditi to return the earrings to mother aditi and at that time we took the parijata tree from the heavenly planets and the samayathil chaitanya mahaprabhu murari gupta rida naan ungal ungal edathil amarndu kondu swargalogathirkku sandram anga vande parijata marathai vande eduthu vandom satyabhama udan prayanam seidom appra aditi udiya aadaniya eduthittu vande avar edathil oppadithathu idella naavagam irukka enu kekkira and that foolish indra tried to stop you from taking the parijata tree to bring the parijata tree down to dwarka and the samayathil indra moodathanamaga parijata marathai ni edukka muyarchi seidha podu avar vandu adai taduthu kondirundha adu naavagam irukka at that time i was carrying you i was your carrier then and the samayathil naan vandu ungalai sumandu kondirundha naavagam irukka And don't you remember also how I carried you when we went to Sonitapura when we challenged when we went to the kingdom of Banasur Adiliya vandu kurippaga Sonitapura angra edathila Banasuranukku ediraga vandu saval vidum bodhu evvaru nai naan sumandu sendhen endru naavagam irukka Anirudh had been captured by Banasur and was being held a prisoner in Banasur's king palace Aniruddha had been brought there to satisfy the desires of Banasura's daughter Usha. At the same time, Banasura ne naana magala na Usha vin virupatte ipoti sahi vadar kaga Aniruddha abedar tarik varavari kapatta. Usha had a wonderful friend named Chitra Lekha, and Chitra Lekha was an artist. So Banasura was keeping his daughter Usha. He was keeping her away from all the men, and she was in private. But she was staying with this other lady, Chitralekha. And one night, in her sleep, this Usha was saying the name of some man. And the same time, the manidar galodiya sagavasam yella dalavirke Banasura kanad magalana. உஷாவின் <laughs> சித்திரலேகாவின் <laughs> 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 Uh, 
கலைஞன் என்ற முறையில தனக்கு தெரிந்த இந்த மிக உயர்ந்த நபர்களான மன்னர்கள் இளவரசர்களின் படத்தை வரைந்து காண்பித்தார் and at one point she came to the yadu dynasty and she drew pictures of krishna and when she saw krishna then usha was a little embarrassed but then when she draw when she drew the picture of krishna's son aniruda then the usha this was the man in her dream peraga yadu vamsam thala irupavargalin varai padathai varainda bodu krishnan padathai varainda bodu usha krishnan padathai kandu தர்ம சங்கடத்திற்கு உள்ளாகிறாள் ஆனா பிறகு கிருஷ்ணரின் பேரனான அனிருத்தனின் படத்தை வரைந்த போது இவர் தான் அந்த நபர் என குறிப்பிடுகிறார் The Chitralaika had mystic powers and she used her powers to go off to Dwarka fly into Dwarka and in the middle of the night she found this Aniruddha and she brought him while he was still sleeping she brought him from dwarka she brought him out of dwarka and brought, brought him to banasura's palace there where usha was staying adanala inda usavin tholiyana chitralekha avulukku yoga sakti irundha kaaranamnala andha yoga sakti in moolamaga avalala vande dwaragai kulla kudiya kadaiya mudigirathu dwaragaila urangi kondirundha aniruddharai avar appadiye vande kadathi kondu avar appadiye vande urangi kondirukka kolathileye So Aniruddha, when he woke up, he found himself in the private quarters of this this young woman, a beautiful princess named Usha, and so naturally he, you know, they have a loving relationship. So after. Yesterday, we saw that Aniruddha, one of the most beautiful princesses. So some of the other people, other ladies who were serving Usha, they could tell some changes in her after she'd been associating with Anirudh, that she changed. The, she's not the same young chase girl anymore, and they told her father. அந்த சமயத்தில் இந்த ரெண்டு பேருக்கும் காதல் மலர்ந்து கொண்டிருந்த காரணம் அதனால வந்து உஷாவிடம் ஏற்பட்ட மாற்றத்தை எல்லாம் உஷாவின் கீழ் வேலையை செய்திருந்த அந்த பனி பெண்களை எல்லாம் கண்டு பழைய உஷா இல்லை என்கிற விஷயத்தை பனாசுரனிடம் தெரிவிக்கின்றனர் அதனால பனாசுரன் சக்தி வாய்ந்த அசுரன் ஆயிரம் கரங்களை கொண்டிருந்தான் லார்ட் ஷீவா because he played the the drum when lord shiva danced he was playing the drum very nicely and lord shiva was able to dance in great ecstasy and and as a result of his service lord shiva gave him the blessing that he would reside there and always protect him adanal shiva paruman the tandava nadanathil aadikondirundha pothu குறிப்பாக பனாசுரன் ஆயிரம் கரங்கள் கொண்டிருந்ததுனால மிருதங்கத்தை வாசித்து சிவபெருமானுக்கு மிக்க மகிழ்ச்சியை கொடுத்தான் அதனால சிவபெருமான் பரவச உணர்ச்சியில் இருந்தார் அதனால வந்து உனது கோட்டையை நான் பாதுகாப்பேன் என்கிற ஆசீர்வாதத்தையும் சிவபெருமான் பனாசுரனுக்கு கொடுத்தார் So when Banasura heard that his daughter had been corrupted by some man who is very upset and he came there to arrest Anirudh and there was a great fight அதனால தனது மகள் உஷா ஒரு ஆண் நபரால தீண்டப்பட்ட விஷயத்தை அறிந்த பனாசுரன் உஷா தங்கியிருந்த அந்த அந்தரங்க அறைக்கு வந்து அனிருத்தனை கைது செய்கிறார் அனிருத்தனை பெரிய அளவுல வந்து சண்டை போடக்கூடியவர் மகாரதி ஆனா பனாசுரன் இடத்துல இருந்த இந்த நாகபாசாக்கு எதிராக சண்டை போட முடியவில்லை அனிருத்தரால So for about 4 months Aniruddha had been missing nobody knew where he gone so then Narada Muni came there to Dwarka and he told Lord Krishna and everybody what had happened நான்கு மாதங்கள் அனிருத்தர் எங்க சென்றார் என்கிற விஷயத்தை யாரும் அறியவில்லை பிறகு நாரதர் துவாரகைக்கு வந்து அனிருத்தரின் இருப்பிடத்தை பற்றி குறிப்பிடுகிறார் 
So immediately Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram and all the sons of Krishna and they all get, they get all their army and they make a huge army and they all come there to Banasura's kingdom to get back any root. <laughs> and it's a wonderful fight, great fight. Lord Krishna is fighting Lord Shiva <laughs> and Lord Shiva's sons, uh, Ganesh and Kartikeya, they're fighting the sons of Krishna. And at that time Garuda is also there because Garuda brought the Lord on his back and Garuda is there and he's fighting with Kartikeya's peacock. So Marari Gupta told uh, Lord Chaitanya, he said, don't you remember, I carried you to the kingdom of Banasura and I fought that Kartikeya's peacock and I banished all her feathers, all the feathers from the body of that peacock. Of course, it was a very great battle and uh, there was the, the, the Shiva Astra and the Narayan Astra and then Lord Krishna put Lord Shiva to sleep. He made them all start yawning. He used his yawning weapon. Everybody goes to sleep. And that Lord Shiva brought his Shiva Dwara weapon to burn everything, but Lord Krishna has the Vishnu Dwara weapon to freeze everything. So the Shiva Dwara has to surrender to the Vishnu Dwara and then Banasura is fighting and Lord Krishna starts cutting off his arms. He's got 1000 arms and Lord Krishna started to cut off his arms because he knew he's got so many arms, he's so puffed up, he's so proud. I'll make him humble. And he cut off his arms and left him with four arms. But Lord Krishna didn't kill Banasura because Banasura is the son of Bali Maharaj and he's born in the family coming from Prahlad Maharaj. And Lord Krishna remembered how he had given the benediction to Prahlad Maharaj that his descendants would not be killed, even though they're all demons, they wouldn't be killed. He wouldn't kill them because they're born in the family coming from Prahlad. So Banasura was made a little humble, he was left with four arms and he was told to stay stay with Lord Shiva and serve Lord Shiva. In this way, you stay out of trouble. So Usha and Aniruddha were released and they went back to Dwarka. Usha and Aniruddha, they were released and they went back to Dwarka. 
So this was Marari Gupta's pastime as Garuda, that he, he, he carries the, the Lord on his back. And everyone was very happy to see Morari Gupta carrying the Lord on his back around the courtyard. Another important pastime was uh, one day Marari Gupta came in and offered his obeisances first to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and then he went to Lord Nityananda and offered his obeisances to Lord Nityananda. So Lord Chaitanya then said to Marari Gupta that this is an offence. You've did, you've got you've not followed the Vaishnava etiquette. You've come to me first and then went to Lord Nityananda to offer obeisances. This is not proper etiquette, Marari Gupta. So, he, w one reason is Lord Nityananda is older than Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So the older person should be give, given respect first before the younger person. Anyway, uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Murari Gupta that you go home and tonight in your sleep everything will be, I will come and reveal everything to you. So that night in his sleep, Murari Gupta saw Lord Nityananda as Balaram, and he saw that there was Ananta Shesha over his head, and he saw that Balaram was non different from Lord Nityananda, and that he's also the Lord, the Supreme Lord. So the next day, when Marari Gupta came to see the two lords, he first of all went to Lord Nityananda and offered his obeisances, and then came and offered obeisances to Lord Chaitanya. So, the way to understand this is that when we worship the Supreme Lord, we first of all offer respects to the spiritual master and then to the Supreme Lord. We don't directly worship Krishna. We have to approach Krishna through the spiritual master. Therefore, Lord Nityananda, being non different from Lord Balaram, he is the original spiritual master. So, the proper etiquette is first to offer obeisances to Lord Nityananda and then to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is himself the Supreme Lord. So, 
செலுத்த வேண்டும் பிறகு பரம புருஷ பகவானான கிருஷ்ண கிருஷ்ணர் அவர்தான் வந்து சைத்தன்ய மகாபிரபு அவரை வழிபட வேண்டும் Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was accustomed to chewing pan and sometimes he would give very special devotees his pan which he had chewed Chaitanya Mahaprabhu எப்பொழுதும் வந்து வெற்றிலையை வந்து அவர் மென்று கொண்டிருப்பார் அதனால விசேஷமான பக்தர்களுக்கு அந்த மென்று கொண்டிருந்த அந்த வெற்றிலையை கொடுப்பார் Just like uh, the the mother the mother of Vrindavan Das Thakur uh the, the she was the she was the daughter of one of Srivati's brothers so your mother Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Vrindavan Das Thakur oda anna Narayani ki agaga avar saapitta vichistathai vandu kudutha so avaru vandu Srivas Thakur oda sagodara magalaga ariyapadugira Yes, her name was Narayani. So Narayani, she got the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sometimes Lord Chaitanya would give his pan to Narayani. So she was known as the, the fortunate child who got the remnants from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Karanaita Patramana Narayani. So Adanala Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Uchishtata Sampita in Karanamaga ஒரு அற்புத பக்தரான பிருந்தாவன் தாஸ் தாக்கூர தனது கருவில் சுமந்தால் நாராயணன் பட் லார்ட் சைத்தன்யா ஆல்சோ கேவ் ஹிஸ் பான் ரெமனன்ஸ் டு மராரி குப்தா அண்ட் மராரி குப்தா டுக் இட் இன் ஹிஸ் டு ஹேண்ட்ஸ் அதே சமயத்தில் சைத்தன்யா மகாபிரபுவும் தனது தான் மென்று கொண்டிருந்த அந்த வெற்றிலையை அவர் அப்படியே வந்து மராரி குப்தரிடம் கொடுத்தபோது தனது இரு உள்ளம் கையினால அதை பெற்று கொண்டார் and after taking the remnants of lord chaitanya's pan then lord chaitanya told him go and wash your hands and marari gupta simply took his hands and put them on his head and wiped wiped his hands on his head paraga sindha vettilaiye petru konda murari guptare nokki chaitanya mahaprabhu sendru kaiyai kaluvikolla vendum endru koorugiran yena murari guptara kaiyai kaluvamal thanadu thalayil kadavikonda And so Lord Chaitanya again told him he said you're not following the etiquette morari this is not the proper etiquette Parag Chaitanya Mahaprabhu morari guptaram neenga sariyaga vandu nal nadathai vandu kadai pidipadilla idu sari alla ena kurippidukara Then another past time happened uh the you know morari gupta by profession he is vaidya is like you know a physician a doctor and so he would take care of people's diseases not only their material disease but also their spiritual disease murari gupta tholil reediyaga paarthom endra oru maruthuvar adanal thanne anuga kudiya inda noyaligalukkalla baudhiga noy mattrum aanmiga noy rendithiyum vandu avarala pokaiyalam murari gupta was a householder and he maintained his family by treating his patients adala murari gupta adipadaiyala oru grahastha adanal thanadu illathirkum varakudiya thanadu illa urupinargalukkum avar vandu noyukundana maruthuvam varubavargalukkalaiyum idane velipaduthuvar and chaitanya charitamrita says murari never ever as anybody for any money he never took any donations from people kuripaga inga chaitanya charitamrathil kurippettallare vishayam enna vendal murari gupta yaridamum irundhu endha nankodaiyum ketpadilla yaridam panamum ketkamatta simply whatever income he got by treating his patients that was how he maintained his family nala noyaligal varumbodhu maruthuvam seivadanaala kedaikkapudiya varumanathai veithu da avar thanadu kudumbathai nadathikondirundar so shrila prabhupad describes in his purport there that murari gupta was a very ideal householder he was he was very uh, responsible in maintaining his family not taking any donations from people and at the same time he was very devoted to lord chaitanya mahaprabhu sila prabhu pada porulareyil kurippidakudiya vishayam enna vendal murari gupta oru mun udharana grahastha adarkku melaga avar vande yaridama vande panathirkaga vande kaiyendamaatar porupanavar adarkku melaga avar oru 
So I found two different interpretations of this pastime. The way it's described in Chaitanya Bhagavat and the way it's described in Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Prabhupada in his purport appear to be a little different. I'll tell you both of them. Uh, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Prabhupada describes that on one day, uh, Shivananda had given, Shivananda Sen had given a lot of prasadam to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There had been a lot of rice with ghee and there was too much ghee and because of this the next morning Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had indigestion. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu having indigestion he comes to Marari Gupta to get treatment. And the way I the way I read it in the Chaitanya Bhagwat was describing that Murari Gupta was at home and he was offering food to the Lord. He was offering rice and he was throwing it on the floor and he was saying, Come and eat, come and eat. Then he was simply taking the rice, mixing it with ghee and throwing it, throwing it and telling the Lord, come and eat, come and eat. And so the next day Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and said, Thou that rice you gave me yesterday, it was it's given me indigestion. So Lord Chaitanya then told Murari Gupta, he said, cure for indigestion, I have to drink water and I want the water from your pot. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took the pot of Marari Gupta and drank the water. So Srila Prabhupada said, Murari Gupta not only cured people's material disease, their bodily disease, he could cure their spiritual disease. Now the spiritual disease is that they have forgotten Krishna. They've forgotten Krishna, become absorbed in the body and the senses and they've forgotten their position as a spirit soul. So Marari Gupta could give the greatest benefit to people. Uh, another pastime which took place uh, was Murari Gupta was praised by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him that Murari, you have satisfied Lord Krishna. So, 
Mahaprabhu was speaking the glories of devotional service and he was quoting verses from the scripture where Lord Krishna says that he cannot be satisfied by austerities and penances, he cannot be satisfied by scholarship, he cannot be satisfied by chess. There's no other means of satisfying the Lord other than devotional service. So at that time Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu turned to Morari Gupta and said, Morari, you have satisfied Lord Krishna. And Marari Gupta is a, is a very great devotee and he knew many verses from Srimad Bhagavatam. So he quoted a beautiful verse from 10th Canto Bhagavatam where Sudama Vipra is speaking to Lord Krishna. Hmm. Because Lord Krishna had embraced Sudama, Lord Krishna had worshipped Sudama and taken the water which washed his feet, put it on his head. So Sudama was overwhelmed with love for Lord Krishna. And Sudama says to Lord Krishna, who am I? He said, I'm, I'm a, not even a Brahmin, I'm just a, a, a Brahmana Bandhu. I'm just a friend of the Brahmins. I'm not even a Brahmin myself. And who are you? You are the Supreme Lord the personality of Godhead, but with your two arms you have embraced me. So, in the purport to this section, Srila Prabhupada explains how Sudama was not Although he was born in a Brahmana family, he did not consider himself a Brahmana. He was so humble. We know as a Brahmana, he had the, he had the facility that he could go begging, but he wouldn't go begging. He wouldn't beg from anyone because he thought, I'm not really a Brahmin, I'm not a, a worthy person. And so he described himself as a Brahmana Bandhu, friend of the Brahman. And Marari Gupta. He's not even a Brahmana, he's not even a Brahmana Bandhu. He's just born in some Vaidya families like Sudra in the social system. But Lord, Krishna, Lord, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling him, that you have satisfied Lord Krishna. So then Prabhupada talks, what about the position of our devotees in ISKCON, that we can hardly be described as Brahmana Bandhus? Of course, in Prabhupada's time, 
we did not have very many Indian devotees. So Prabhupada is speaking about us Western devotees, that we're all very low-born, we're very low, we're from the outside the Vedic culture. So how can we ever satisfy Lord Krishna? So Srila Prabhupada said, if we follow Lord Krishna's if we follow Lord Chaitanya's instruction, keep uh, Yari Deki Tari Kaho Krishna Upadesh Amara Gaya Guru Hana Tara Edesh. Wherever you go, whoever you meet, tell them about Krishna and in this way become spiritual teacher and save the land. <laughs> So Srila Prabhupada states that if we try to follow this instruction of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then we can satisfy Krishna. And Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada, the spirit, Prabhupada's spiritual master, he also speaks on this section that the important point is not the birth, that's not the important point, but the important thing is the devotion, that mood of devotion. So, uh, Murari Gupta understood that the Lord is not going to always be with us, that He's not always going to manifest His pastimes on this planet. So he desired that before the Lord departs from the world, he thought, I want to finish my life. Of course, we saw this, some, some, that was the same thing, situation with Haridas Thakur that he also desired to leave the world before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Of course, Haridas Thakur was already in old age by that time and it was arranged that he could leave his body before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu departed. And Haridas, of course, he left this body in the midst of Kirtan. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was having Kirtan, they were surrounding Haridas. At that time, he could give up his body. So Haridas, he could give up his body by natural means, but Murari Gupta, he, had, he, he purchased a big knife and he was planning to kill himself, to chop himself up with a big knife. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is omniscient, he knows everything, so he came to the home of Marari Gupta and he told Marari Gupta that you cannot do this, this is not proper. Chaitanya 
And Murari Gupta pretended to be in innocent. Oh, I don't know anything. I don't know what you're talking about. But then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went and he found out that knife. He brought out the big knife. He said, I know what you're planning. He said, I'm taking this. You give up this thought. Mm. So, this way Murari Gupta stayed to witness all the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas, then Murari Gupta would regularly go to Jagannath Puri to see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Lord Chaitanya always showed special affection for Murari Gupta. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Yapurda Murari Gupta Ridam Vishesha Pasate Velipati Kundarpa. In Chaitanya Charitamrita it is described how all the devotees came from Mayapur to Puri and they were all there to see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Murari Gupta would sit outside. He would not like to go in front of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He would sit outside. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would then have to ask, where, where is Murari Gupta? Where is he? And so then they would call out and then Murari Gupta would be way outside at the back and he would come forward very humbly. He come forward with straw between his teeth and fall at the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu may anagumbode the Pal Idikala our the Pulla Vait Kunda Padivaga our Mun Sashtaka Maga within the Vanakavas. So he was very much loved by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His humility melted the heart of Lord Chaitanya. So we are all so much indebted to these wonderful devotees like Murari Gupta. And only by their mercy we are able to know so much about the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, uh, I think this is just about all the pastimes of Murari Gupta have covered. Murari Gupta in the Oh, one thing was when when the Lord assumed the form of Varaha, at that time the Lord came to Marari and he told Marari, offer prayers. <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is taken the in the mood of Varaha and Murari Gupta is asked to offer prayers. So Murari Gupta begins to speak words praising the Lord, how he comes in different incarnations and how he comes to please his devotees. <laughs> Lord Varaha had appeared before in Navadvip in the 
in the Satya Yuga, he'd appeared there, Lord Varaha, to a Brahmana. There was one Brahmana who was very much desirous to see the Lord in his form as Varaha, and Lord Varaha appeared and satisfied his desire. There's a temple of Godiamat there, and they have the deity of Lord Varaha there in the temple over in Koladweep in Navadweep. So that was in Satya Yuga, and then, and now the, and here we see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also in the mood of Lord Varaha, and just 500 years ago in this Kali Yuga. And Murari was blessed to take part in that pastime, that see the Lord and to offer prayers to the Lord. Offering prayers is one of the nine kinds of devotional service and we should all be ready to offer prayers at any moment. When we come before the deities at that time also, when we see the deity of the Lord, we want to be able to offer prayers. And when the Lord comes in front of the devotee, then it's the duty of the devotee to offer prayers. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes are full of so much nectar. Everywhere we can find wonderful nectar to chew. I'm simply giving some of the remnants of his pastimes. So I'll stop and if there's any questions. Uh, yes. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you so much, Maharaj. It's amazing uh, nectarian pastimes that you shared with us. There are a few questions, Maharaj, if you share. You said Mark, uh, Purari Gupta is unable to appreciate the form of Lord Ramchandra, whereas he was able to appreciate the form of Lord Chaitanya. How do we understand that? Did I say that? He was unable to appreciate. He, he was a. He was able to appreciate the form of. He was not able to appreciate the form of Krishna. He was fixed on the lotus feet of Lord Ramchandra. Ah. On the other hand, he was still able to appreciate uh, Lord Chaitanya and uh, no, he was able to appreciate Lord Chaitanya's path. So how do we understand that? <laughs> well, how to understand? It, it wasn't that he wasn't able to appreciate Lord Krishna, but he was attracted, his devotion was attracted to that particular form of Lord Ramachandra. <laughs> Just as Hanuman knows Lord, Lord Vishnu, Lord Narayan, Krishna, are the, they're the Supreme Lord, but he only wants to worship Lord Rama. He's attracted to that form of Sita and Rama. He's not attracted, he's not, he doesn't have the same feelings and devotion towards Krishna or towards the other forms of the Lord. 
விஷ்ணு நாராயணர் கிருஷ்ணர் இருக்கின்றனர் அல்லவா அவங்களை நிலை அறிந்திருந்தாலும் ராமரிடத்துல வெளிப்படுத்தக்கூடிய அந்த உணர்ச்சிகளை எல்லாம் அந்த பக்தி எல்லாம் பகவானின் மற்ற ரூபத்தின் மீது அவரால வெளிப்படுத்த இயலவில்லை அதே போன்று எவ்ரி ஒன் ஹஸ் இஸ் த தேவா right so hanuman worships sita ram he cannot worship anybody else his devotion is there for lord rama he doesn't feel quite the same devotion for the other forms of the lord he can respect them but his devotion is his feeling of love and mood of service is toward lord rama ellarkum vandu or ishta devargal irukkindranar allava adanal hanumanukku paarthom endral அவர் எப்பொழுதும் வந்து விரும்பி வழிபடக்கூடிய விக்கிரகம் சீதாராமர் ஸோ அதனால மற்றவர்களிடத்துல அவருக்கு நம்பிக்கை இருக்கு ஆனா பக்தி என்று வரும்போது அது ராமர் இடத்துல தான் வெளிப்படுத்துகிறார் மற்ற ரூபத்துல அவருக்கு வந்து மரியாதையை வைத்திருக்கிறார் பட் ஸ்டில் யூ ஆர் ஆஸ்கிங் வாய் இஸ் ஹி அட்ராக்டட் டு சைதன்ய மகா பிரபு बिकॉज சைதன்ய மகா பிரபு இஸ் ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ண சைதன்ய ராதா கிருஷ்ண நஹியன்ய so why is how is it possible marari gupta can be devoted to lord chaitanya ஒருவர் <laughs> by chaitanya mahaprabhu because he had witnessed all of these things so he had a special affection for the lord that the lord is here we have to take advantage and he took full opportunity to render service and to associate with chaitanya mahaprabhu adala murari kuttar or arthuda bhaktar chaitanya mahaprabhu in aarambha kala leelegal ella mulumaiyaga kandavan so adanal and aarambha kala leelegal ella kandadanal சைத்தன்யாபிரபுக்கு <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had also shown him that he is not different from Lord Rama. Adala inga Bhagavanudaiya neradi sangam kadaikum bodhu adai evvaru vandu kai vida mudiyum adala na Ramara mattum na velipaduven endra solla mudiyuma endra. Ana inga Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tanta Ramachandra Bhagavan engira vishayathiyum Murari Gupta idam therivikkarar allava. Yes it's an interesting point that he could the although he, his devotion is fully to lord rama but he is also very devoted to chaitanya mahaprabhu and i the swarasyamana karuthu da adala ramar edathile vidinda bhaktiye kondirundalum chaitanya mahaprabhu edathileyum avar migavum vandu kavarapatta and this is due to the the personal dealings because chaitanya mahaprabhu was very personal and he shared so many past and so many incidents together so he naturally he would have a great bond of affection for chaitanya mahaprabhu adle kurippaga chaitanya mahaprabhu tanipatta muraila anbu parimaattai velipaduthuvadala vandu kai therndha vallana so adan karanamaga inda sangam karanamaga avarku nariya leelegalai kuda chaitanya mahaprabhu avaridathala vandu pagirndu konda tanipatta muraila but as a general few hands i'll definitely put them but in the same context there is one past times of lord uh, uh, lord krishna in dwaraka sent the garuda to bring uh, hanuman to her uh, to see him but when uh, hanuman came to know that uh, krishna is calling through garuda he did not uh, come actually then lord krishna said he go and tell lord ram is calling him so then the rama and uh, sorry krishna and uh, rukmini they made up themselves decorated as a sita ram and then because they called her lord rama is calling hanuman came and he said you tried your best but your show is not so good you are not my lord ram you are krishna so <laughs> so that he didn't want to go actually <laughs> he didn't go to see krishna actually varaj yeah <laughs> yeah the, the mood of service is the, his his mood is to serve lord rama 
He only knows the Lord as Rama. He doesn't know him as Krishna, although he understands Krishna as the Supreme Lord, but his devotion is to Rama. He wants to be there with Lord Rama, at Lord Rama's feet, waiting for service. So, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu glorifies this. Um, he says, this is, this is wonderful that you, he's so chaste. He's, his devotion is so fixed to, the, to his worshipful Lord. It's not a fault, but it's, a, it's an embellishment, it's a, an ornament of his great devotion. Yeah. Any other points? Yes, Maharaj. Yes, I think many questions are there. Sumitra Krishna Prabhu wants to speak, so I'll just put him by. Okay. Uh, Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. This is the Kerian uh, lecture. So you mentioned that uh, when the devotee is coming in front of the Lord, he must start uh, centering prayers. We have seen in the Bhagavatam and many Vedic literatures, great devotees like Kunti, or Lord Shiva, Brahma's prayer. They were able to compose immediate prayers when they were face to face with Lord. But unfortunately, many of us, we may not be very well versed in composing prayers like Kunti and other when we see the deities in the temple. Can we just chat Mahamantra or just remember those prayers rendered by Kunti Maharani or Ambarish Maharaj, Brahma, and meditate? There was some devotee asking in the Facebook. Yes, definitely. If we chant Hare Krishna, then all the prayers are there within the Maha Mantra. All the Vedic knowledge is within the Maha Mantra. And if we quote some lines spoken by other great devotees, then that is also very wonderful, very powerful. But as we progress in our Krishna consciousness, gradually, more and more, we can think how to offer a prayer, a suitable prayer to the Lord. Certainly, we are neophyte, our prayers are not going to be like these of the great, those of the great devotees, but What's important is our sincerity and the fact that we make the attempt. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu declared that that illiterate Brahmana who couldn't read the Bhagavad Gita, that he was actually the real reader of the Bhagavad Gita because of his sincere devotion. Mm -hmm. 
So Krishna knows the heart of everyone. He understands our sincerity and when he sees our sincere efforts, then he can also inspire us to speak proper words glorifying the Lord. We know uh, Prahlad Maharaj was inspired by the touch of the hand, the lotus hand of Lord Nasringa Dev on his head, inspired him to speak nice prayers. And Dhruva Maharaj was touched by the conch shell of the Lord on his head. So maybe we can also pray that the Lord will put some good thing into our brain, give us the intelligence to offer suitable words glorifying the Lord. Devotional service is an ongoing process. We can never think we're perfect or now we're qualified. We always want to do better. So practice makes perfection. We keep trying, keep trying, keep trying more and more. And gradually we, we hope we can improve. Hare Krishna. You're saying because Hanuman is Charanjeev, so how to understand that he could come as Murari Gupta? Well, yes. he can expand himself, right? These, I mean, these great personalities like Hanuman, like that, they can expand, they can appear. Murari Gupta, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said he is Hanuman, but doesn't mean he's directly Hanuman, not, you know, but he's like. The expansion of Hanuman, or his mood is like that of Hanuman. So the mood of the great devotee is there, not that he's directly that devotee, but he's like the, in that mood of that devotee, of Han, the devotion of Hanuman. And we could also think Hanuman also desires to come in the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he comes in the form of Marari Gupta to see the world in his most wonderful, merciful pastimes. Although Hanuman is not attracted to Radha and Krishna and service to Krishna, maybe he is attracted to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because his pastimes are so wonderful and so magnanimous that even Hanuman also comes. Hare 
Hare Krishna. Well, it's not that Krishna needs to reveal everything to everyone, but he likes to give these devotees, like Narada Muni, he likes to give them a chance to come there, to be, <laughs> to come there and bring the news of what's happening. Yeah. Lord Krishna, of course, he would know, he knows everything, he knows everything, but he waits for these things to come together. He waits for the situation to arise. The, the devotees coming. Not that Lord Krishna is taking advantage of his position as the Supreme Lord, that he knows everything, so he comes there, come on, I know you've got my son there. No, he waits for Narada Muni to come, to reveal it, to tell everyone, no, oh, Narada Muni's come, he's telling us, oh, okay, then we have to do something. Now it's time to do something. So, Krishna likes to give devotees a chance to do service. Mm, it adds more to the drama, to the Leela. If Krishna is playing the Supreme Lord, I know this, I know everything, then, you know, nobody will go and fight. No, no, there will be no enthusiasm for battle. They will say, let Krishna go and do it, he is the Supreme Lord, he can do it all himself. But Narada Muni comes there and he tells them and then, oh, then they, okay, everybody gets enthusiastic, a big battle, and they get the army together and they can all go and have a wonderful battle. So it's, it's, it's in, in, encourages the, the Leela, the whole Leela, Krishna's pastimes that can all take place, make it more relishable, more enjoyable. Yeah. Maharaj, with regard to uh, Burari Gupta, if I understood your class properly, you said he is Hanuman at the same time, or expansions of Hanuman, at the same time he is expansion of Garuda. So simultaneously, both at the same time, Maharaj? No, no, I, I, well, he took, he, he, he told Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that I am Garuda in order to facilitate the pastime of Lord Chaitanya. But I, I could not say that he's uh, also Garuda, <laughs> no. But just for that one particular pastime. Because the Lord wanted his Garuda. Where's Garuda? I want to. <laughs> so Marari Gupta said, I'm Garuda. Come on my back. Climb on my back. Garuda, 
So to facilitate Lord Chaitanya's pastimes, Marari took that position of Garuda, but not that he is an incarnation of Garuda. Mm. You mentioned about an amazing quality of Murari Gupta of being chased towards Lord Ramachandra's form. Uh, so for the followers of Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said that if you are chased to the holy name, that will serve all its purpose. Can you say like that? Yes, well, certainly, chased to the holy name. That's very good. Uh, not only the holy name, right? We want to serve the holy name. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu encourages not only the chanting of the holy name, but he says also worship Krishna, read the books about Krishna, to tell everybody about Krishna. Hari Rastakur, he was chanting the holy name, but the, he, that was his main service, just chanting the holy name. But it's different for different devotees. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu understood different devotees. So, so he would tell one devotee, your, your duty is to serve the deity, and he would tell someone else, your duty is to go and work as a doctor. And then the other brother, he was told that you, you travel with the devotees and go for preaching. So faith, you say faith to the holy name, just going, just going to chant the holy name, or are you going to preach the glories of the holy name? That's also service to the holy name. So, can be understood in different ways. As we feel inspired to take up the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we can do it in many different ways. Srila mm. Prabhupada, he was inspired to preach all over the world. Other people, you know, they're more inspired to just be in Vrindavan and chant the holy name. Did not, does not mean one person is better than another or more, more power, more advanced than another. What's important is our devotion for Krishna. Okay. Okay. Any other question there? Yes, one second. Rupa Rani Mataji, Rupa Rani Revati Mataji. Please unmute yourself. You raised your hand. Raj, one devotee raised her hand, but she's not speaking. Uh, in the meantime, uh, like uh, now, Raj, Rupa Rani Mataji, carry on. Yes. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Uh, sorry, I couldn't unmute myself. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Hare. Uh, please accept my respect for obeisance as a group, Maharaj. Thank you for the wonderful class. My question is when Murari. Gupta was uh, 
paying obeisances to the Lord, he was uh, holding a straw grass between his teeth. What, why Maharaj? And one more question. Is there any difference between expansion and incarnation? Yes, uh, holding straw between the teeth, that's a sign of humility. Generally, we take the straw between, we saw Rupa and Sanata. Rupa Goswami, when he came before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, also came with straw between the teeth. When Lord Chaitanya came to Ramakali, both the brothers, Rupa and Sanata, they put straw between their teeth and they fell at the feet of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, indicating lower than, lower than the straw in the street, a sign of humility. And then the second question, is there any difference between expansion and incarnation? I've never been very clear about that myself, to tell you the truth. Maybe Banu Swami can enlighten us more on that. But generally, avatar means one who comes down, right? Come from the spiritual world. Yes, well, Lord Shiva had given the promise to his devotee Bana that he would help him to defend his kingdom, that if anybody came to attack. So he was, he was obliged to fight on behalf of Banasura. But he regrets. We see in uh, Brihad Bhagavad Amrita, when Narada Muni is looking for the greatest person who is the object of the greatest mercy of Krishna, at one point he comes to Lord Shiva and said, you are the you got the greatest mercy. And he said, you were even able to fight with Krishna. And Lord Shiva said, that was my ignorance. That was my ignorance that I fought with Krishna. It's not my greatness. <laughs> So we see finally Lord Shiva offers prayers to Lord Krishna and he gets forgiveness, you know, he understands. He, 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 he was covered by Yoga Maya, we could say, the Yoga Maya, under the influence of Yoga Maya, Lord Shiva initially is fighting with Krishna, but finally, you know, he submits to Krishna and recognizes Krishna's superiority. So Lord Krishna, Lord Krishna enjoys these leelas, 
He's, it's a, he enjoys, he's, I mean, it's all for his pleasure, you know, all his, it's all his pastimes. Okay. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Maharaj, we would love to know the verse that you talked about, Sudama. Uh, like, you know, Mukundamura, Mumurari Gupta was about uh, very fond of Srimad Bhagavatam verses, and you said he was very, very attracted to a particular verse with regard to Sudama's pastimes. Yes. So, we would humbly request you to share that particular verse where Prabhupada Bhagavad also we were nicely explaining, Maharaj. Yes, well, that's in the 10th canto, 81st chapter. And it's verse number 15. And verse number 16 is also very, very beautiful and it's also included in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Mm. Maharaj, you said 15 and 16, 1, 5 and 1, 6, is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Padina and Padina are a rental slot. Maharaj, we are extremely grateful to the Chennai Yatra. He is extremely grateful for an amazing class. It's just not the Zoom people are watching and the YouTube also. And we are very, very, it's just an amazing class. Thank you for the network, Maharaj. It is just not, we see that the age, it does not, the more one becomes easier, depending on what's around. He's able to pour so much mercy and nectar to the desire uh, devotees. We offer our prostitute obeisance with your lotus feet and we would beg you to give us more and more of your association. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki. Jai. His Holiness Bhakti Vigna Vidasa Narasinga Swami Maharaj Ki. Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki. Jai. Jitai Gaurav Premanande Haribo. Haribo.